Welcome to Physics with Miyoshi, and today we're going to talk about, or this time, we're going to talk about scientific notation. Um, make sure folks can remember how to use it, and uh, especially in adding, or, um, adding and multiplying, and even really remembering what they are. So, hopefully you remember that exponents are used to uh, show really small numbers, or really big numbers, like we have up here. And um, the way you can remember how to change number in scientific notation is certainly by um, counting up how many spaces you have to move the decimal point. Now, normal scientific notation looks something like this. We have a, a coefficient, or sometimes they call that the mantissa, and it is a whole, well, it's a number, it's a, a real number that's got uh, one number to the left of the decimal point. And then when it's in normalized fashion, it's got that one number to the left of the decimal point, and then it's got the times 10 to the exponent. Okay? So, if I was going to change this to normal scientific notation, what I can do is count how many units I would have to move to the right, but I want to show you something else instead. We can have, well, first, this guy here could be written in several different ways in non-standard scientific notation. So if I just move this guy over one, then this would be 0 .0001 0, 0, times 10 to the negative 1. So if I'm going to write it this way, notice that uh, this really is times 10 to the 0. So what I'm doing is if I move this exponent to the right one, then this exponent here has to go left one or down one. So now I can move it again to the right, and if I do, I do this right, I can do 0 0.001 times 10 to the negative 2 in this case. And I can keep going, and I can have 0 0.01 times 10 to the negative 3, 0 0.1 times 10 to the minus 4, and finally I could put in 1.0 times 10 to the minus 5. Now if we went back here, we could say that we can count up the number and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and however many I went to the right, I would put negative 5 there, and that's what you see. I have the coefficient in my exponent, and this would be 1 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now I can do the same thing on a large number, and the reason I use this particular large number is because it's common in physics. It's um, actually the speed of light in uh, the international units. And so I can do the same kind of thing here. So this really is times 10 to the 0, because 10 to the 0 is 1, just like any number raised to the 0 power is 1. So if I move this guy to the left one, now this is 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 times 10 to the first. And you can think of this also as a uh, multiplication, just a regular multiplication, and this is that big number times 10. I can do the same thing again, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 times 10 squared, because I'm moving it back one again. And so if I move it to the left one, I need to raise this exponent one to keep it equal. Same thing, and I'll just keep going times 10 to the third, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0 times 10 to the second, oops, sorry, fourth, then I'm going to the left, so that means that's has to go up, 3, 0, 0, 0, 10 to the fifth, 3, 0, 0 times 10 to the sixth, 3, 0 times 10 to the seventh, and finally, our final answer, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. Now, if you were uh, a geek like me, you'd know that this was 3 times 8 meters per second is the speed of light in a vacuum in international units. Okay? Um, so, that's how we get to scientific notation for many for many number to uh, scientific notation. We can just count, but if you know how to do this here, you can see that that's why it makes sense. If I, the more I count to the left, the larger this number has to be. The more I count to the right, the smaller this number has to be. Okay? Now what about adding? Well, in adding exponents, we want to line up the decimal point, just like we would in normal adding. 
So 3.2 times 10 to the fifth is 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 320,000. And 2.3 times 10 to the third is 2,300. So if I had lined up the decimal points, this would be 3, 2, 2, 3, 0, 0. Well, I could do this, which is, if I move these exponents back, 3.223 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, well, I could do that just by changing my exponents, and I will do that down here just a little bit. So I can have 3.2 times 10 to the fifth, and 2.3 times 10 to the third. And if I want to add those up, I just need to make sure these exponents are the same. So what I'm going to do is I'll make them both 5, because that's a little bit larger. And so this becomes still 3.2 times 10 to the fifth. And like we saw over here, if I want to make this number larger, I'll move that decimal point to the left. So this becomes point. So I want this to be 10 to the fifth. I have to move it over 2. If I move it 1, 2. 1, 2, this would be point zero. oopsie, line that up, point zero, two, three. and you can see now I add up my exponent, I leave my exponents the same, and now I have to add them up, and I have the 3 and the 2, the 2 plus 0 is 2, and I have 3.223 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, so adding exponents, we want to make sure we get the exponents the same, we're adding uh, scientific notation, make sure your exponents are the same, and uh, you can just adjust them, and then you can add the numbers, the real numbers, the coefficients. Okay? So, last but not least, when we multiply numbers, we want to first multiply the numbers or multiply the coefficients, then we're going to add the exponents, and then we're going to simplify, or in other words, make it back to uh, normal scientific notation, or which is the uh, one number to the left of the decimal place. How do we do that? Well, this is 3 times 2 is 6.0 times adding my, adding my exponents. It's 10, negative 4 plus 6, which is going to give me 6.0 times 10 to the negative 2. Oops, can't add very well. That's positive 2. Negative 4 plus 6 is positive 2. So 6.0 times 10 squared, or 600. Okay, I do the same thing down here. Uh, this one's a little bit, not, not tougher, but it's, it's a little bit different. Six times four is 24, and I add my exponent, so this is 10, negative three plus negative six. So this is 24 times 10 to the negative ninth. Well, 24 is not normal scientific notation, so if I look back over here again, I moved the exponent uh, from the right to the left, so I'm going to add one to there, so I just bring it back one, so I add one to that, so this becomes 2.4 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay? Um, scientific notation, some simple examples, and some um, explanation of how, it, how it's used and why we use, I mean not why we use, but how we can get from a regular number back to a, a normal scientific notation. And thanks for joining in, and hopefully this clears up some things about scientific notation.